Bikerafting to me is exploring, biking and rafting, bikerafting. Kaharangi National Park, oh, lots of mixed emotions in here, a pretty special place. You're not, we're not going to start until just over here. The plan for our journey is to mountain bike and pack raft a loop of Kaharangi National Park in the northwest corner of the South Island, New Zealand. Starting with the old ghost road in the Mohikanui River, riding up the west coast and through the Hefe Track and the Aariri River to the north. A mix of back roads and single track will have us finishing on the Buller River. All up, this loop is about 600 kilometres. This is the first time an attempt has been made to carry pack crafts and link the rivers and trails. The old Ghost Road Trail was the concept of a few motivated West Coasters to join two forgotten 100 year old gold mining trails. The Tombstone! Arriving at Ghost Lake in a snowstorm was a bit spooky. Ghost Lake hat. It's snowing! But we awoke to blue skies and skyline ridge beckoning in the cloud base well below us. Highlights for the Old Ghost Road was definitely the descent down from Old Ghost Lake Hut, um, down and then up that technical climb up onto Skyline Ridge. Love that bit. The graph required to build the Old Ghost Road is mind blowing, especially the hand built section of Skyline Ridge and the switchbacks of the boneyard winding its way through the earthquake debris. Specimen Creek Hut overnight and getting quite a lot of Amused looks from the other people in the huts while we're carrying boats on our bikes. I've done a few days pack rafting in preparation for this trip, but the rivers are going to be my biggest challenge. We're going to head down the Mokanui Gorge into the graniteness of the gorge and into some white water. This is bike rafting. Floating down the Moki Hanui Gorge, it was hard to imagine that only a few years ago that this river was earmarked for hydro development and the damming and flooding of this spectacular granite bedrock canyon. So we've made it to the rough and tumble. Uh, that's the conclusion of New Zealand's most continuous single track at 85 kilometres. 
even though we didn't do the last 17. Uh, but we did float down the Mokihinui River. Uh, some great rapids, amazing scenery. My highlights on the Hefe track were going up towards Hefe Beach along the coast, uh, the Nikau Park plants, pink granite, um, and just just being off, you know the beginning of the Hefe, you know, and actually just starting that mission. This bird we're looking at here is called a takahe. It's a very rare New Zealand native bird. There's only 375 in the world, and the Department of Conservation have released 30 here in the Hefe track area. Kaharangi National Park is such a diverse place. The, the, the beach, the coast down by um, Hefe Hut, it's so tropical compared to the lush, dark green mountain tops that we're in up, up here at the moment. In the early 90s, the Hefe Track became one of the most popular multi-day mountain bike rides. It was closed to bikes in 96 when the National Park was gazetted, but after significant lobbying by the biking community, the park management plan was amended to allow seasonal access, and finally in 2011, wheels rolled through the Goulin Downs once again. It's 6.30 in the morning, I've just wandered down from Brown's Hut to check out the river. We had sporadic rain overnight and uh, I fear to think how much has been up here in the mountains. We've been advised not to run the Aureri on the rise. Uh, it's on the rise. Climbing 800 vertical metres out of Golden Bay, we encountered a soaked, overgrown track. Over seven hours of mostly hike-a-bike later, we arrived at the rock shelters for the night. shelters. Pretty special bird to me because they're pretty much the white water bird of New Zealand native birds.
We're here on the last day of our journey uh, on the banks of Kawateri River, commonly referred to as the Bulla. The Kawateri is the third largest volume river in New Zealand, but it's the largest unmodified river system, which means no dams, no hydroelectricity. It also has a water conservation order over it to keep it that way, to keep it free to flow all the way to the ocean. The Kawateri drains the southern flanks of the Kaharangi National Park. So it's quite apt that we're going to finish uh, with the rapids of the Upper Buller Gorge back to our start point at Lyle or the start of the Old Ghost Road.